What's up, y'all? It's your boy Focus Tricky07 here, back today with another video. And you're like, what? Two videos in one day? What's going on? Well, man, I done learned my lesson. I done got tortured enough, and I don't want to go through that again. So we're going to be sure we start uploading videos. But as you can tell by the video, I'm going to be letting you guys know what is the best badges for all shooting builds for even if you have a 60 to 50 three pointer, even if you have the 80 and up three point shooters. So I'm going to be sitting here helping out any single three point shooter that needs any type of badges let know. Now, just to let y'all know, I'm going to go ahead and cut this up very simple. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the best shooting badges for uh the best shooting badges for low shooting builds. That's going to be your hot zone hunter, sniper, catch and shoot, clutch shooter, and lucky seven. Best badges for high three point shooting builds is going to be your hot zone hunter, sniper, blinders, chef, mismatch expert, and lucky number seven. Now, I went ahead and just told y'all that because I know there's people who just want to go ahead and know what it is and go ahead and equip them and put them on. But if you guys want to know why I chose these badges and give you an explanation, that's what we're about to get into right now. So let's go ahead and get into that. So for low three-point shooting builds, the reason why we chose Hot Zone Hunter. Hot Zone Hunter immediately boosts the shot attempts percentage from a little boost shot percentage for attempts taken in a player's favorite spots. This is immediately, immediately going to make you shoot better, way better than what you was. Hot Zone Hunter for a low three-point shooter is a must-need badge if you're not putting hot zone hunter as max as you can then you're doing this completely wrong put hot zone hunter on it's a must needed badge i'm telling you right now you're going to make a lot more shots you are even going to make some more whites the second badge sniper exaggerates the impact of good and poor shot timing put on sniper right now you will make a lot more whites as a low three-point shooter you will make whites as a fit you can have a 53 point shot and you will start making whites without this badge you cannot make near as many whites. I know personally, I have a two-way slashing playmaker with a jump shot boost. He goes all the way up to a 70. I put on gold sniper and I made whites. I literally never made whites. I made one white ever. I put on gold sniper and I make more than like three or four whites in a couple of games. I'm telling you, it's nice. I love it. It's amazing. I put it with hot zone hunter. It makes me be able to shoot amazing and it's great. So I'm telling you guys, put those on. That's definitely what you're going to want to use right there. Now, to get a little more in-depth, I want to tell you guys. Remember, some of these badges are going to be on your play style. So, for the next badge, I have catch and shoot for low three-point shooters. Are you a person who's catching and shooting the ball a lot? If so, <laughs> put this badge on. This badge is going to help you tremendously. Boost the chance of hitting three-point immediately after a catch. So, if you catch that ball, you already get another shot boost. So, you have hot zone hunter helping you, sniper helping you and catch and shoot that is three badges helping your three point percentage imagine that that's just un that's unreal right there i'm telling you now i want to go ahead and make this quick and short real quick let me talk to you guys about corner specialist don't use corner specialist you want something that's going to help your all around three point game not in just one single spot if you're a person who just shoots from the corner put on a corner specialist then that would be a good badge for you but i don't recommend if you have only six or nine badge points to put on corner specialists i would rather you see hot zone hunter sniper and catch and shoot especially if you have low badge points but anything besides that i would not mess with corner specialists even if you're a high three-point shooter or a low high or low three-point shooter i would not mess with corner specialists unless you only shoot from the corners as a person for the next one though we have clutch shooter clutch shooter increases the ability and knock down shots in clutch moments this is a park badge okay this is not a wreck. This is not a my career. This is for park. If you play a lot of park, put this on. It's going to help you immediately, even from the beginning of the game, because it will take that shot. Every shoot, every shot that you shoot will be a clutch shot to them. So you're automatically getting attributes to your three point shots or even any shot that you take. So that's making you a better shooter already. And now for this last one, this one also. Do you play this type of way? Lucky number seven is also a really good badge. Gives a boost to early shot clock jumpers. If you play the twos and you're not using lucky number seven, I don't know what you're doing. You should use lucky number seven. It's going to help you tremendously give you anything on any type of shot. Like Let's read this. Gives a boost to mid-range or three-point attempts within the first seven seconds of a possession. Any type of mid-range attempt and any type of three-pointer, you are getting a boost if you shoot it within seven seconds. So if you have all those coming together and you only have a 53 point shot, imagine what that really is. If you have enough badges to actually make it a little bit better, you're going to green, you're going to be way more consistent and it's going to be nice. 
Uh, so that's gonna be it for my low shooting badge for my for my bat for my best badges with low shooting build. Sorry about this, guys. We're still a rookie around here. But besides that, we're gonna go ahead and get into the high three point shooting builds, and we're gonna go ahead and talk into what they're getting into. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So for the best badges for high three point shooting builds, we're gonna go and start off hot zone hunter sniper. I already told you these are the best shooting badges ever in the game right now these two right here are the best shooting badges if you don't use these you're wrong this should be on every single build you have no matter what if you are trying to shoot the ball if you're trying to shoot the ball hot zone hunter sniper mandatory if you don't have those on you are not a shooter now next up is going to be blinders the reason why i didn't have blinders on for low shoot three point shooting builds is normally because they're not doing a lot of dribbling off dribble shots and stuff like that they're shooting more from the corner. They're shooting more from the side. And players are playing more straight up. The reason why I did this for high three-point shooting builds is because they're doing a lot more off dribbling. A lot of dribble going around the screen. Next, you know, they need to shoot a guy's coming from the side. That's going to help you tremendously. A lot of people will get zero contest because of blinders, man. If you can put blinders on Hall of Fame, I definitely, definitely recommend it after you get Hot Zone Hunter and Sniper at least gold. I'm telling you blinders gold or blinders hall of fame is definitely going to change your life and you will you're going to love it you're going to make a lot more shots if someone's trying to contest you from the side that's what every play shots use nowadays i'm telling you put on blinders watch yourself just become an even more laser three-point shooter now a lot of people's badge everyone keeps talking about this badge chef give a boost to the range that a player can effectively shoot off the dribble three-point attempts if you're a person who likes to dribble the ball a lot and shoot off the dribble i highly recommend this shot i highly recommend this chef is so good i've seen i've seen people make crazy stuff with this chef badge put on hall of fame go out there and have fun but now if you're not a person who does then i then i take uh where is it limitless spot up then if you're not a person who takes crazy off the dribble shots then put on limitless spot up really I would use one or the other. I wouldn't put both. I wouldn't put both on because really you can still limitless spot up catch and shoot just fine without having it even on, which is kind of crazy. I've seen my friends do it multiple times, greening from half court without this badge. So let me tell you, limitless spot up is not very needed. But if you want to take off dribble shots and you want to consistently make them, put on some Hall of Fame chef and you will look like Curry out there, boys, on the park. I promise you. All right, another build for uh, high three-point shooters. Mismatch expert. You're going around screens a lot. That's what I'm seeing if you're a guy with a high three-point shooting. You know, you're trying to get a three. You're trying to always get that three off, something like that. You're going around picks. You're trying to ISO for a three. Mismatch expert is going to help you big. Anyone taller than you, it's going to help you out. I'm telling you, shooting over tall defenders. Really, that's around the 6'8", six, 6'9", six, area to let y'all know. So anyone that's about 6'9", you're going to get an attribute. You're going to receive less of a penalty when shooting. So I'm telling you, put on mismatch expert. I've seen people literally, especially with this contest system that we have this year, I've seen people right in front of someone's grill do a little step back and just pull it right in front of them. Zero contest. It says that they're open. I'm just like, how? How? It doesn't make sense, but it happens. So I'm telling you, mismatch expert, I'd put on gold, especially if you have a lot of badges, man. Go ahead and put that thing, rip it up. And now... Once again, this one's going to be for how you play, just like for a couple of the badges that you heard me saying. Lucky number seven. This badge is extremely good. I've already went over. I just told y'all, if you're playing twos, put this badge on, use it on gold at least. I'm telling you, it's just going to make you a better shooter. There's no reason not to make you a better shooter, especially if you have enough shooting badges to do it. But out of all that, that is my most recommended shooting badges. Everything else like Deadeye, I know you guys are like, what about Deadeye? The contest system's broken this year. What do you need dead eye for? I talked to y'all about limitless spot up. You can still hit half court shots and green them without this badge. So what's really the use, especially if you can make it consistently? Why do I need this badge if I'm already making it consistently? Set shooter. Why do I need to take more time after taking my shot? I would rather have catch and shoot where I can immediately shoot. Immediately. That's what makes catch and shoot way better than set shooter. A slippery off ball. One thing though. Set shooter can be good if you dribble a lot. If you're dribbling, you got to set for a second. I just don't see it, though, because I see you trying to set and try to immediately pull. You know what I'm saying? Slippery off ball, that's really good for a lot of uh, finishing defenders, to be honest, which is kind of funny. But 
besides that i kind of went over everything and i'm kind of happy with that so be sure you guys like the video be sure you guys sub subscribe check out my other videos that we've been posting we're not gonna lack anymore we're gonna keep doing this man appreciate you guys stopping by peace out